Hello again, everybody. I uh, thought in this, this episode today, I'm going to show you how to program a Grautner ESC. Um, again, looking at the documentation, this could be fairly daunting, but it's, it's, it's not really that difficult. What you need is a USB cable. Typically, the one that came with your transmitter should be good, but since I'm using a, a Mac, I'm using a USB-C connector here. Hopefully that focuses okay and you can see that. So uh, I have that that I connect to my Mac. Okay, so I'm gonna plug that in. Also in your transmitter case, you should have received one of these little USB converters. So basically it takes a USB to serial port converter, I believe is what it is. Connect that to our USB cable connected to Windows. The little red light is on on uh, on the converter. Now you have two cables in my case coming out of this converter. One is the two pin one, and that is typically used on receivers. I have shown you on a previous version of my one of my episodes that uh, you can program a receiver with that. Today we are going to use the three pin one that has a female connector on it. And so we're gonna take the ESC wire that you normally would plug into your receiver and we're gonna connect it on here, brown to brown, etc. And that's a tight fit, but there we go. So now we have the ESC connected to little converter and the converter to my Mac. Um, the ESC I'm using today is just a standard T45, but this should work for pretty much all of the, the ESCs out there. Um, notice I'm not doing anything with telemetry cable, it's just there. Right now, I am gonna prep this. For now, you wanna leave this disconnected um, because you actually have to connect it right as you, after you select the download uh, firmware thing, um, and I'll show you that on my uh, my laptop in, in just a minute. So we're gonna go across to the laptop. We are gonna launch the speed controller part on the devices. Before we do anything else, you do wanna make sure that your port is set up correctly. So in this case, I have four, uh, COMP3 connected with the Silicon Lab. I have COM3 selected with Silicon Lab CP2100 or 210X. Um, that's the standard, you'll see that um, for most of these con controllers, USB converters, I should say. All right, so now we have your ESC connected and we have the browser loaded. Now you can do this two ways, I've covered this before in, in other videos. Um, order load a file browse, auto download is the best option since it goes and looks for the latest version of the firmware. It does require an internet connection, so make sure you are connected to it. It'll go out to the Grafner site and look for it. So in this case, I'm gonna hit auto download and it's gonna say waiting for ESC. I plug the battery in, it comes up and it says, oh, I found some firmware, is this what you want? I go, yep, file download, and the process starts. So it went downloaded the firmware, and now it's actually running the firmware update itself. So this just takes a few seconds, 15, 20 seconds to complete. So here we are, firmware is downloaded into your ESC and uh, it is ready to go. It is easy as that. Thank you for watching.